Our latest project took us to Orange County, which is perfect because that's where Studio McGee got its start and where our shop is. So we're going to take you through our OC Ranch remodel. I'm standing in a hallway that takes you into the guest bedrooms and a bathroom and a playroom. Our client really wanted this to be a place where her family could come and stay with her, so we wanted to change up the guest wing of the home. In one of the guest bedrooms, it was just an undecorated guest room. There wasn't anything horrible about it, but it needed to be dressed up, so we added a great board and batten wall detail, and then the furniture really helps bring it to life. Uh, we have a great color palette of gray, white, and blue, and then some hints of black that we carried in from the other spaces. I like that the feel in here is inviting, it feels put together, but it also has a casual look to it. The nightstands are my favorite thing in the space. I love that they have this light wood tone, but then they still have the white drawer, so it kind of has this mixed effect. You have these cute little gold knobs and then an open shelf for displaying a little tray or bowl. You know I love the McGee & Co. nightstands, but we also didn't want to like do the dresser too matchy, so we went with this light whitewash dresser, and I love that the poles are actually just built into the dresser. There's no hardware on them, and so it has this kind of rustic modern look, but the light tone still keeps it feeling coastal. Our client is recently retired, which is so awesome, and so in this space, she used to have an office and a big desk built in, but to accommodate more family being able to stay, we changed it into a guest bedroom. Our client wanted the other guest bedroom to feel fun, and so we took it just a little brighter. I don't love super bright colors, but I think that the blue tone has a really lively feel to it, and it was perfect for the headboard, and then we added a little hint of pink on the pillow. And then the throw at the end of the bed is the perfect finishing touch because it has a great pom-pom detail on the edge. The nightstands are a light natural wood, which you've heard us mention quite a few times throughout all of the rooms in the home. And so it ties in really nicely, but does it in a different way. And I really love that these in particular have a little tray that pulls out. The lights on the nightstands are white and the walls behind them are white. I think that you don't always have to have contrast with every single selection. Contrast is great for making a statement, but it also makes a statement. And sometimes you need things to feel a little calmer and going tone on tone keeps things feeling that way. This Playroom is a cute little space. Our clients wanted a room that their grandkids could go in and bring toys, read books, just hang out, and they had their heart set on this day bed. So that's where we started. The color on the walls is dramatic and it's different from all of the other rooms in the home. And we did that intentionally because we wanted this to feel more playful and to feel special. I think that every time we do a home that has a lot of white walls, I like to pick a couple of rooms that have dramatic wall colors. We lightened up the wall color with this really great cream and blue striped rug. I love that it kind of has like a French ticking effect. And then we've layered in leather poofs and lots of fun pillows. Because we got rid of that desk in the guest bedroom, we are able to create a space where the client could still store things and work when she needed to. I really love how the desk stands out against the dark walls and the white bottom built-in, and then we have a beautiful wood countertop that matches the open shelves above. It really brings in that coastal and warm look that we have going in the rest of the house. The layout of the bathroom stayed the same, but the finishes got a major overhaul. Right when you walk in, you see this great wood vanity and 
a really cool marble pattern floor. Our client loves timeless materials and so we decided to go with a subway tile that's marble and it worked really well with the marble in the mosaic floor. We want to continue the materials throughout the space so we did a countertop in marble as well. Everything was kind of feeling really cool with the white walls and then all the marble so we warmed things up with a custom vanity that we designed. We went with a shaker cabinet but we added a subtle bead detail that really elevated it and took it to another level. We decided to go with the mirror with a simple nickel profile so that the brass lighting fixtures would really stand out. So this wraps up our OC Ranch remodel. If you haven't seen the other videos already, you should go check them out. And don't forget to subscribe for more home tours and design tips.